This is figure 4.7 from the book. Now for a consumer with these particular preferences, the indifference curves are never going to be tangent to the budget line. So notice that every single one of these indifference curves, U1, U2, and U3, the indifference curve is steeper than the budget line. That means we're not going to have an interior optimum. They're never going to be tangent to one another. Instead, we're going to have something called a corner solution. In this case, at bundle R, where we're consuming no Y at all, we're spending all of our income on good X. Well, here's how we'd arrive at this conclusion. When the slope of the indifference curve is steeper than the slope of the budget line, the consumer is willing to give up more Y for a unit of X than the market requires. So, if the slope of the indifference curve exceeds the slope of the budget line, the consumer wants a bundle with more X and less Y. Basically what's going to happen here is they're going to keep wanting more X and more X and more X and less Y and less Y and less Y. They're going to spend all of their income on X and none of it on Y. So when the slope of the indifference curve is always greater than the slope of the budget line, we're going to have a corner solution buying all X and no Y. Here's how we can visualize this. Well, let's look at U1, indifference curve 1. Well, notice it's steeper than the budget line at point S. So we'd actually be willing to give up more Y to get some X. We can do so because we still have some income. We can actually get over to U2. Now U2, this indifference curve is still steeper than the budget line. So we still want more X, but in this case, we're out of income. So we're spending all of our income on good X and none of it on good Y. We'd of course love to get to U3, but we don't have the income to do so. Now the reverse is true for the Y axis. If the slope of the indifference curve is flatter than the slope of the budget line, this co consumer wants a bundle with less X and more Y. That is, they're going to keep spending more and more income on Y until they exhaust their income and spend nothing on X. We're going to have a corner solution on the Y axis.